I wish there was a Scottish wish bus. Like, if there was, I would get an all-day ticket. You'd not be getting me off of that vehicle, all right? I would be staying. <sighs> let's, let's make it happen. Let's do that. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. There. Very, very short riff today. That's all that was happening. That's done and it's going. Let's keep going. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions. You can fast track reactions, become a reaction. There's all sorts of bonus content, including my Vocal Anatomy 101 series, where you can learn how to use your voice more efficiently. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, we are going to listen to some more Morissette Amon. Now, we're going quite far back, I think. We're going to go and listen to her on the Wish bus doing... Secret Love Song by Little Mix. This was all the way back in 2016. That was a long time ago. So, let's just go and listen and see what we think. When you hold me in the street And you kiss me on the dance floor I wish that we could be like that But can we be like I know this is a ridiculously early place to stop, but Morissette does a lot. So let's unpack it so we all learn something, huh? So the first thing she did there was start with a lower larynx placement. That gives a darker, richer, smokier tone. It's really kind of like the ground has fallen out from under that sound and it's all kind of like reverberating or rumbling down below. It gives you an aged kind of sound, it's a more mature sound, and she's opened the song up with that. It's very gentle, it's really nice to listen to, and it just kind of sets the tone. She then changes her larynx position to a higher larynx position, and it gives that bright, youthful kind of sound. It gives a completely different tonal quality there. She's mixed the two, both with an aspirate sound, which is where more air comes through the folds, giving a breathier kind of tone. So all in all, she's done so much with like two lines of song. Nuts. Let's keep going. We keep behind closed doors Every time I see you I die so more Stolen moments that were still As the curtain falls It'll never be enough <laughs> It's obvious you're for me Every piece of you is just Oh, again, so she just does so much with her voice, it's nuts. So the thing that's jumping at me here is the actual placement of her jaw. It's very loose. You can kind of see, if you go back and watch, she's just got this real kind of elasticity to her jaw and she can drop it a little bit further than you would probably need to and that gives you a little bit more resonance, it gives a little bit more swim to that tone. She also utilises mouth shape quite a lot. She's got some quite unique placements of her lips. She sings at the side of her mouth sometimes, which gives you that, you can hear it, kind of pushes everything into this kind of smoother kind of place. Um, but then she also likes to smile into some stuff. She's just got really, really good control over her voice. Very, very good. Oh, we know. Okay, I know we've just heard the first line of the second verse, but we need to talk about that chorus a little bit. 
she's built up the pressure, she's getting a real push out of that tone, and then she's putting in that, you know, signature cry where her tone just turns over the top note. It's absolutely beautiful. When she sings that line, why can we be like that? There is a tendency, or there could be a tendency, for that sound to get kind of squeezed and pressed and for it not really to happen as smoothly as she did it. The key is to relax onto that sound, not to hop up to it and try and like stretch your folds too much and try and like push for it. You kind of have to release. It's almost like a sigh. Um, and then you get that airy kind of quality, you get that ease of effort and it just all comes together. She does it absolutely perfectly. Beautiful. Oh. Like you do when you're with me, does it feel the same? Would you leave if I was ready to sit all down? Would you play it safe and stay? But you know Now, one thing that's really jumping out now is the controlled vibrato here. It is sublime. Sublime? Not sublime. Sublime. It's sublime. Now, she's getting that lovely controlled vibrato by tilting her thyroid cartilage. That allows for that oscillation of that note. I'm young. Had to finish it. Don't know why. Just felt the need. But she combines that lovely vibrato with such a lovely, smooth, controlled, straight tone at times as well. She really knows where to place things, where they're appropriate to get the best kind of movement and dynamic out of the song. She's so, 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 so good. I also like the cry that she used as she pushed into the chorus as well. She uses this cry quite a lot, but it doesn't get annoying or it doesn't grate um, or get tired. Somehow she manages to apply this cry very often without it getting kind of overdone. That's just a testament to how kind of well controlled she keeps it, in my opinion. If it was a bit overboard, then you'd probably get tired of it. But for some reason, I don't. So there's that. Let's keep going. Now, listen to the echo behind that. The echo is so strong, I would really struggle to concentrate. Um, this has happened on another Wish Bus performance, I think. The echo was so, so loud. Um, not loud, but just very prominent. Um, and that just goes to show how good these people are at performing because they can focus that out and kind of just concentrate on what they're doing. Um, but when things get kind of slower and more broken up, you really do hear your own voice kind of repeating back at you. And that can jar some people, but not, not Morissette. The people that mix these are just fantastic. Like they get such a good product at the end of it. It's amazing. I wish that we could be like that. Why can we be like that? Cause I'm yours. I'm yours. Wow. 
Wow, that was fantastic. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. <laughs> I think Morissette has really good mouth shape when she starts getting into these kind of beltier kind of places. She keeps everything kind of in this almond shape. Ah, she keeps everything nice and open. You get that lovely resonant sound out of it. Um, if you go back and watch, you'll see her mouth stays in that shape for quite a lot of the final parts of that song. It's almost into a smile, but not quite. So you don't get as bright a sound, but you get enough brightness because the lips are spread. Really, really good. She's fantastic. And then it also gives you quite a nice juxtaposition for when she purses her lips for ooh sounds. You get a real change of tone in that kind of moment there. Just ah, uh, A grade. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and how are we gonna buy this one? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Um. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and if you like this video, go binge watch all my more set ones. And if you liked it, won't you hit like that? Why don't you hit like that and sub for more? <laughs> that was not too bad. Anyway, bye.